Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another solo leveling arise video. Alright, plenty of things have happened since the day one, we are now on day three. If you guys are still rerolling, so there's plenty of things that you can do right now to help you with the reroll easier. Now actually, today I just saw that they are giving out 2,000 gems for everyone who managed to reach level 10. Now believe it or not, level 10 is much more easier to uh, achieve than you think, alright? So uh, it is going to be somewhat of, uh, you need to play a little bit to reach there, for sure. To get these 2,000 bonus gems, it is going to help you in your funds. Uh, to do 10 pulls, it's going to be 2,500 gems. So if you are able to push a little bit, play a little bit more, you can have extra gems for you to basically re-roll for. Alright, so it's something that I do highly recommend. Uh, take your time with the re-roll. I know the rates are a bit low, which is why it does make it for a very, very important one. Uh, if you can get Cha Hai in, or you can get either Emma or Seo Ji Woo, you know, any of these characters is going to be able to help you a little bit in the story. This video is sponsored by Blue Stacks. Now, if you guys are not aware, Blue Stacks actually has resolved this particular issue where you cannot run solo leveling arise on the emulator. So you need to download the latest version of Blue Stacks. I'll have my link in the description below so you guys can do that. As you can see right now, I'm running it just fine. I'm going to install solo leveling on Blue Stacks. Now I'm going to show you my particular version as well so you guys will be able to basically see it for yourself all right so this is going to be version 5.21.201 all right it's all right here so make sure you guys you know are downloading the latest version of blue stacks and we'll later okay let's see all right so looks like we can run the game just fine net marble uh, obviously once you get past this particular uh phase right you're gonna log in so i'm gonna show you guys by signing in as a guest and then you can see select all boom so yeah, it works just fine. With Blue Stacks, you can always try to do this. You run a multi instance using the Blue Stacks multi instance manager, and that allows you to run multiple instances of the same game. So that's gonna make your life a lot easier if you're still intending on rerolling. Now, I do recommend most players to try to reroll and try to get a better start because the rates is going to be relatively on the lower side. So yeah, make sure you guys use Blue Stacks. You can use my link in the description below. I'll have that pinned in the comment as well. Let's jump into the video. What do I think of the game so far? All right, so hopefully uh, show you guys a little bit about the game. So a number of things, right? So right now you can see uh, the game has multiple different things. All right, you have the main story. All right, very, very usual stuff. This main story is where you progress in the missions and then you also have like some side story that you can play. So side story allows you to uh, play through this chapter. Uh, let me just show you guys a quick one. All right, usually it's just about slicing up some enemies, beating some them up and then get some uh, bonus gems along the way. Now obviously if you get 3 star in a lot of stage, you will be able to, to try to get some bonus. So yeah, you can see I'm using Cha Hai In right here. Okay, so she's very strong because she can do this. That is a very strong, okay. Okay, look at this. This is going to be a huge AoE. Huge! Alright, so we're able to get that. Okay, you can also swap with the enemy around. So this is one of the more cringe dudes. Not a big fan of him, more of a big fan of Cha Hai In because of the AoE, right? The roof, the wolf is running away. Okay, so as you can see, uh, usually in the stages, uh, you play it stage by stage in this particular game, and then you get three stars, and uh, there's some requirements that you have to meet, depending. Some of you have to like perfect dodge to get the third star. Some of you have to beat within a certain period of time. Uh, DPS check, ATC, ATC. And then you get some bonus gems along the way. So playing through the stage is going to be pretty... Uh, it's going to feel pretty familiar if you're familiar with any of this 3D uh, action RPG style gacha game. Now where it's going to differentiate itself is probably in the story and probably in the IP itself. Uh, if you love the solo leveling IP as a whole, then this is going to be the game for you. This furry character is so cool, man. Like, look at him! Look at him! Zoop! Zoop! Alright, uh, yeah, this character is just so cool. Uh, too bad his banner is the first one to go away. It only lasts for like 4 more days. So you get to fight uh, cool bosses even in this uh, trial thing. Alright, so this should do quite a significant damage. Ooh, look at that! Alright, alright, I'm sold. This guy is pretty strong actually. 
So this is the cool part about uh, the game as well. It allows you to test characters. Uh, so you also get some rewards when you test the character. So make sure you guys do that. You can access it in the Hunter uh, preview section, which is right here. Now, the game has an idle feature in it. So what do I mean by that is you can see right here, if I go right here, there's this thing called the activity funds. And then you can basically accept this thing and that this thing like fills up every single day. You can see there's a 24 hour countdown and then you can get your EXP, your gold, your materials as per follows, right? Uh, depending on what the tier is. Uh, as you can see, you know, this is going to be where the game's resources comes to you. Uh, the game doesn't really have a stamina system and this is going to be how the game gets you. Now this could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on whether you like this kind of idle system or stamina based system. There's no stamina as per se in this kind of game. So there is a gate thing where you can basically farm this particular gate. So the gate is going to be how you basically farm resources in this game. It gives you plenty of different things. You can see right now, I only managed to get some B rank. But once you get A and S rank, you will be able to get a higher rarity gates. So for B rank, apparently some of the lower rarities one you can basically sweep easily. And apparently I've been told that the higher gates, you can't really sweep. So this is where the quality of life, uh, it is going to be something that's locked behind one of the monthly paths. Now, let's talk about the characters available in the game. As you can see, I've obtained two SSR right now. In terms of character, I have obtained Seo Ji Woo right here. So ideally, if you are rerolling, Seo Ji Woo is one of the recommendations. She's really, really strong alongside with Emma. All right, she's gonna, gonna be one of the top tier characters to obtain, recommended. Uh, Libora, I've heard some good things about her as well. She's apparently a very, very unique uh, mage. And then we have uh, Huang Dong Su here, which I don't think he's that great. Uh, apparently this guy, Min Byung Gu, is also very, very strong. You can consider him as an option. And then we have Wu Chin, Jin Chul, Choi Jong In, uh, Lim Tae Gyu, uh, Baek Yeon Hu. As you can see, all of these characters, uh, I do think that, you know, it's pretty unique, it's interesting enough for me. All right, so if you have been following the solo leveling IP a little bit, uh, maybe you are familiar with some of them, but the characters available in the game for the time being, I do think that there's quite a number of rosters and you know, plenty of likable characters right here. Now, if we were to look at the tier list, they have since updated this tier list day three into the game. You can see Cha Hai In is going to be like an above tier above everyone else. So Cha Hai In is insane character to obtain if you can reroll for one character it's probably going to be her uh, she is going to be the recommendation by a lot of players now the truth is she is easily available right now if you are rerolling like she's going to be the highly recommended one and also you get her exclusive equipment for free all right so how do you get it you go to i believe the event section all right you talk to this go to the event you can see we have this dice thing so cha hai in red up celebration special dice so you just gotta do these particular missions, all right, just claim all of these, all right, log in every single day, draw from the rate up 10 times, some of these you can see, just do all of these, and then you can roll the dice, all right, to hopefully try to get Cha Hai Ins, uh, you gotta like reach all the way to the fifth one, and then on the fifth lab reward, you are going to be given a Cha Hai In exclusive weapon, as you can see right here. Uh, this is going to like boost her even stronger. So if you roll for her and you are pretty much going to be guaranteed this particular uh, dice thing, right? I do think that, oh man, I'm so unlucky. I'm only getting one. Uh, ideally, you want to get six, right? So that you can finish or complete the lap uh, more often. But I am super unlucky that it's not even funny. Okay. But you can see we still have 18 days left. I have confident that, you know, we will be able to complete the roll uh, easily. All right, give me a six. All right, give me a six, come on. Double. So in terms of, of your main character, Sung Jin Woo, you have the ability to change his class as well. As you can see, right now I'm Assassin. I can basically switch him to Night Lord. And then later on, you'll be able to unlock even more, right? We have Necromancer. We have the Monarch of Shadows. And then we have the Monarch of Shadows Rebel Leader. Right, it is all pretty cool and all. You do have a different variety of costumes or job change that you can basically switch upon. All right, so something that's very, very interesting. So end core mission is going to be where you are farming the relics or artifacts, right? As you can see, I've unlocked up to two of these. So this is going to be a different one, very decent mage force. So you will be able to unlock this set of artifacts all right so two piece is going to give you attack five percent four piece is going to give you ignore 15 percent so there's going to be a variety of different ones that you can farm right here so it's going to be a little bit of rng obviously you want to try to reach as high of a tier to get the higher ones higher rarity ones so right now these are the low rarity ones so this is going to be using this particular key that you get a three per day so let me jump into one and show you guys how it's like 
All right, so hopefully my Cha High In will be able to do everything accordingly. Ooh. Wow, Force. Okay, so I'll try to dodge that. Okay, so I think I should be able to do this. This should be enough damage. Alright. So that's just a uh, rank 1, so it's going to be way more easier. But with Chai in, everything is just extremely extremely smooth all right i do highly recommend to try to reroll for her so yeah this is just how the farming dungeon relics are all right you can basically stack if you want to obviously once you reach like higher tier uh you can basically do the multiple you can see right you can just increase the reward times three times four by just stacking multiple keys at, at once a little bit of quality of life there at least for in this aspect where you are farming the artifacts so yeah that's gonna be for solo leveling arise now if you love solo leveling ip in general you can consider playing this game and if you're still rerolling i would highly recommend using blue stacks uh which is a sponsor of today's video you can check out my referral link in the description below and as always i'll see you guys in the next one subscribe if you guys haven't already give it to your like have a nice day goodbye